Alrighty, so here we are back for part two of the quoting worksheet here, and um, it's a new day that I'm working on this, and so I'm going to do it properly, and we'll do box two, box three. Uh, we've already looked at box four, so we'll, then we'll go box five and box six. So I'm going to fill out box two. Um, I'm going to pause the video. Well, I'm going to pause my recording and then come back. So uh, pause the video and try and fill it out yourself, and then we'll compare what we get, okay? Okay, so here we are back with what I filled in for box two. Um, so would the stray puppy make a good pet? I think that the story uh, very much guides you towards the answer of yes. Um, I, I suppose it is open to you that you could say no, but uh, you'd be hard pressed to find specific evidence to support that. Um, I think there's plenty of sentences that you could pick if you decide yes. Um, this is the one that I found um, coming from right here on page two. Uh, but I think there are others that you could find that would be acceptable for this. So um, I think the format that I've gone through for filling this out is uh, pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the next three uh, boxes, three, five, and six. And then I'll come back once I filled all of those in, and then we'll conclude the, the video on this worksheet, okay? Okay, so for box number three here, I filled in, um, and I think it's really important uh, when you talk about how does Mr. Lacey feel, you don't want to just say something like he feels bad or he feels unhappy about the puppy or he doesn't like the puppy. Um, you want to make sure to give a reason why, because that's what you're supporting with the evidence. So I said he knows they can't afford it. Um, and the evidence to support that is uh, when he says, I know for sure where it's going. And of course, he's implying the pound. Um, for box number five, what does Doris do after her father leaves for the pound with the puppy? This one, you don't have to put any thought into it at all. It's right in the text. Um, she cries herself to sleep, and then that's literally quoted in the quote that I have from page three. She, she could do nothing but go to her bed. She cried herself to sleep. Um, and then box six here, um, how does Mrs. Lacey feel? So this one, maybe you could take both sides um, of the argument. I think that she doesn't agree with it. Um, even though she's smiling in the quote, she's smiling at him. I think it's more of a why would you decide that? Um, because earlier in the story, she she uh, there's a quote where she says that, you know, we can't afford that. Um, so I think she doesn't agree with it. And my quote is this from the end of the story, uh, shaking her head as if she would never, ever understand it. OK, so that's this page all filled out. Um, and this is, I think, a very useful exercise, finding quotes. You'll use this um, for the rest of your life. Um, and in the next video, we'll go down to the connotation and denotation worksheet. So I will see you in that.